Hey guys, so this week I'm going to be doing a video on uh, filling in your eyebrows and following this video I'm also going to post one about um, a review over High Beam and Sunbeam from Benefit Cosmetics, um, the skin illuminators. Um, so if I'm wearing the same shirt in the next video, don't think I'm, you know, I don't change because I do, but I'm doing two videos this week. I had planned to do one on the Sunbeam and High Beam first, but um, I had gotten a request to do the eyebrow video as well, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyebrows. I haven't done either of them. These are my natural brows. Um, I don't like my eyebrows personally because I feel like they're really bare. Like right through here, they're pretty thick, and then they just kind of fade off into nothing. So I just, I don't like them being uneven as far as the way that they're filled in naturally. So I go through and fill in my eyebrows usually every time I do my makeup, and if I don't have my brows done, I don't, I feel, I feel naked almost. So, um, the things I'll be using, um, in this video are the, uh, the brow gel by MAC. It's in Beguile. And I've used this for so long and it, what the brow gel does is it smooths down the hair so that you don't have any fuzzies just flying around. You know, it looks smooth, it looks clean. Um, and then I'm also going to be using my angled brush. Um, it's just a, it's just a small angled brush, about like that, and it's angled upward, and you can see. And then on the reverse side of that is a spoolie brush, and that combs the brows. Now the beguile gel brow uh, brow gel has a spoolie brush in it, but I just don't think it smooths as well as my other one does because it, it has product on it. Um, so I basically use that as a base for my eyebrows and work, you know, the work the concealer, which is what I use to shade in my brows, um, over that. And I actually use this one in my concealer palette. This is the palette I talked about last week um, about how to do, um, you know, your skin regimen and the concealer video. So if you haven't seen that, um, I can post a link to that following the video so you can check that out um, but I do use concealer to fill in my brows and I do that because I used to use eyeshadow and that worked okay too but I like a more defined brow I like it to stand out just a little bit more um, I guess dramatic without being really thick I really like my eyebrows pretty shaped the way they are now um, I, have an, I have an arch in my eyebrows already um, I just like to define that arch more so like I said just more dramatic and we're gonna get started the first thing I'm gonna do is take my beguile and I'm going to start with my right eyebrow I guess your left if you're looking at me um, and like I said I've got a mirror right here so I'm gonna try to get as close as I possibly can and still be able to see and I just take my beguile and run that over the eyebrow hairs and like I said it's like a gel so it's smoothing down these hairs and kind of locking them in place for you so you can fill in your brow and I'm gonna take my spoolie brush and I'm going to comb in my hairs and you can already see how the brow gel kinda of helps define your eyebrows as well but it's not as dramatic but you get the idea so now I'm taking that concealer and I'm taking my angled brush and I'm dipping my brush into the concealer. Now how I usually start my pattern is a little bit differently than what you could do. Um, depending on the shape of your eyebrows, you know, people might do it a little bit differently and that's okay. So just do whatever you think you can do for your brows. But what I do is start from the bottom and work my way up and then work on my arch down and then I go back through and I fill them in. So about like this. and you can see how it already looks pretty defined and I just trace that arch making it the, whatever length I want I like it usually about like that okay so that's kinda your stencil your outline and then I take the side of the angle brush and I kinda dab it in not the tip um, not this part right here but more close like to the side and I dip that in the concealer as well and then I start working my 
inwards and going outwards. So just like this. Kind of like that. And it looks really harsh at first, but, um, and it looks almost thick. So what I like to do is go back through my concealer brush, which is this brush right here. Um, and I go through with my concealer that matches my skin tone. Okay, so it can be a little, like a shade lighter so that it kind of gets a highlight with your brow. Um, and that's what I'm going to kind of do. I'm going to go through now and just kind of out under, underline my eyebrow or outline my eyebrow and kind of get rid of some of that thickness right through here and just kind of shape it up a little bit more. And how I do that is I start in the, or I start in the ends and I work my way up. And I do the same thing inwards, right through here. This is where I really shape that up. So don't worry if, like, when you're filling them in, if your line is not as, like, crisp as mine. It doesn't really matter, because um, you're going to go through with your concealer and just kind of take that some of that extra off anyways. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So they don't look as thick and you can kind of see my concealer line so just go back through and blend that up just like that and you can kind of see how much thinner it gets and just work on that And that's basically how I do my eyebrows. So you can kind of see the difference it makes. Um, it makes my face look more lifted, I guess, on this side. It makes my eyes look more lifted. Um, and you can really make this more pronounced if you want your outer um, brow. But I really like it. And I have such a long space between my eyelid and my eyebrow that I have such a huge canvas to work with. And sometimes when I do my arches too high, I can I feel like I have even more space. And so sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing, just depending on how you look at it or what look you're going for. So um, I tend to try and take my brow not too terribly high. Um, the arch, anyway. So... That's basically how I do that, and uh, I'll go ahead and do the next one for you as well, but I'm not really going to walk through this one. I'm just going to kind of do it, so if you uh, want to watch this, you can watch this part, or you can skip forward past it. It doesn't matter. Um, I just figured I'd give you another round to um, look at. That way, um, you know, I'm not walking you through this one, so I'm not interrupting your concentration, and you can just do this with me. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other brow.
And I think that's about it. So, you know, you can make them as thin as you want. Um, you can make them as thick as you want. Either way, that concealer and that concealer brush kind of give you um, an idea of how to guide your uh, shape. So, I really enjoy uh, using the concealers because there's so many different things they can be used for. And um, I think they're great. A lot of times, people, when they use their lipsticks, will put... A, like with, especially with red lipsticks they'll do the uh, lip liner uh, and then they'll do the lipstick and then go back through with their concealer brush with some concealer and to make it more crisp like not smudged you know I guess a uh, lip liner or you know lipstick bleeds on the skin they will go back through and clean it up and it just looks beautiful it's so crisp and so clean so that's kind of a secret I guess there that I've let out as well so um, you know I, if it's necessary with my clients, I will go through and fill in their eyebrows. You know, if your hair color is dark like mine, kind of a just a brown, brownish red, um, you know, I do brown eyebrows um, just to match my hair. Uh, it's when I dye my hair um, black, I use it just a little bit darker, but this, you, this looks pretty close to black, to what I have. It's dark brown. So that's not really something you have to worry about so much. Um, as long as your brows match the shade of your hair or some shade of your hair, then it's fine. You know, look at celebrities and see what color their eyebrows are. You know, bounce ideas off of what you see on the internet um, and work with what you think is best for your skin tone, which is best for your hair color or your eye color. Um, and I really want to do a tutorial on brows one day where I use, um, you know, what the hottest trends are with the blue eyebrows and the green eyebrows. I really want to try that. I think that would be a lot of fun as well, and maybe do a jeweled eyebrow. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with your brows, and uh, I think you should utilize, you know, those tools that you have for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the next video I'm going to have this week is on high, high Beam and Sunbeam, and um, those are the skin illuminators from Benefit Cosmetics, um, purchased at Ulta for about $26 a piece. And uh, they're great for summertime, and they're even great for wintertime as well, because if you want just a little bit of, you know, color to your skin, if you're really fair, the uh, high beam is going to be really good for your skin tone. If you're more olive like I am and darker, the sun beam is probably going to work best for you. Um, if uh, you have really, really dark skin, um, I would suggest using high beam because it's kind of a natural glowy kind of look. And so, you know, if you're it's one extreme to the other you know if you're really fair go with the high beam uh, I tried it on one of the girls at work and she loved it so um, I hope you guys enjoy that video as well and I will see you next week bye